okay next the things this is the total sdlc process yes okay the next thing is means we are just we are studying or we are reading this concept just in the point of the interview that's it okay means we are not going to do anything here okay means we are going to involve in total stlc process nothing but it's a part of testing a uh, phase in sdlc mm -hmm. okay yeah sdlc models you don't need uh, much more thing about sdlc models also okay you know if you know the same thing in your project if you are putting up some uh, experience uh, are you putting means are you trying as a fresher or otherwise uh, are you trying as a teacher no, i'm going to i'm going to try as an experience 3 years 3 years right dipesh if you want to put 3 uh, years of experience uh, first question they will ask what type of project means uh, what the project you are uh, deal with uh, in the last company or last what is your last current project okay like that they will ask after asking that there may be a scope of asking one thing which type of model are uh, used which type of sdlc model uh, are used in your uh, particular project they will ask about that okay yeah. point out and you have to be ready with one of the model Okay. Right. Means they won't ask yeah. more questions on uh, the development side, but they, you have to get some at least an idea. If, while they are asking the question, your face should not be blank. Absolutely yes. Exactly right. Means at that point of time, you have to give some answer to them. Means if they, if they are asking, means if you are giving at least one or two minutes of the particular explanation, they won't ask another question. Absolutely yeah. At least they will they will get a gist that. Yeah, you have uh, you have some idea no need to ask about that on that area because everyone will uh, think like that only right means if you are if he is asking the question at least he will expect uh, uh, one or uh, at least two three lines of answer if you are giving more yeah. two lines of answer he won't ask another question regarding that particular area that's correct yes you are right mm -hmm. okay uh, leave about that now come to the subject Okay, here in SDLC we have two types of models. Means we can further segregate this SDLC into two types. Okay, one is sequential models. The second one is iterative models. Okay. SDLC further segregated into sequential models and iterative models. The two types of models we have. Okay, in this particular SDL sequential models, okay, we have uh, further the things two types. One is waterfall model. And second one is B model. We already discussed B model. verification and validation part we have discussed right the same thing yes nothing but waterfall model sorry b model is nothing but verification and validation the same thing okay nothing is different here uh in iterative model the best examples are rad model rad model is nothing but rapid action development model okay next the second thing is prototype model okay next the third option is spiral model fourth option is as a model these are the models which we are having most probably in the companies uh, in real time uh, they are using nowadays okay means depends upon the company depends upon the project type they are going to decide the model okay this model are uh, part of sdlc yes 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 means these are the types of models means sdlc is a process okay yeah for following for doing that process we have some models 
have that. Okay, for doing for following this process, we have some models. Okay, nothing but sequential model is there, iterative model is there. Under that, we have uh, different types: waterfall model, B model, and like that rad model, a prototype, and spider. Instead of writing like this, if I will show you the something uh, else called something uh, documentation, that will be better, right? 